Hey NBA fans, this is Steven here from JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a special NBA beat breakdown. I'm going to be bringing you the top five players in the NBA for the 2014-2015 season. Right now, you do have some that some may agree, some may disagree, but this is my list. I'm going to be bringing you, and if you agree, disagree, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm going to start at number five. Without further ado, we saw vast improvement with him in the Houston Rockets last year. We saw him kind of struggle early on, not really know if he's fully healthy from back surgery, but Dwight Howard, you have to look at it. A lot of people are touting Anthony Davis as the best big man in the NBA. I have to beg to differ. Superman is going nowhere. And you have to look at it. Superman is probably the last center in the NBA left. And what he does in his improvement in his game and how he's really improved, I have to think that, okay, Dwight Howard is a serious monster in the middle. The Houston Rockets, even though they lost Chandler Parsons, will depend more on Trevor Ariza. They will depend more on James Harden and, of course, Dwight Howard. His uh, free throws have to improve, of course, but his defensive pedigree, the way that Dwight Howard was in Orlando, I think we'll see a lot more of that in Houston as far as blocking shots, as far as staying out of foul trouble. He's going to have to do a little bit more to work on that, but as far as number five, Dwight Howard is the fifth best player in the NBA. Now, coming in at number four, we have to look at Oklahoma City, Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook beat out Chris Paul to be on this list because of his skill set, because Russell has the speed to beat out Chris Paul, because I feel like Russell can score and get, back, uh, get to the rim better than Chris Paul. It's not about leadership here. It's about overall skill set. What Chris Paul does for the Lake, uh, for the Los Angeles Clippers is great. But what you have to think about Russell Wilson, I mean, Russell Westbrook, ugh, excuse me, just blunder for words. Russell Westbrook, what he does for the Oklahoma City Thunder is just so crazy. And, and him and Durant combo together, that's possibly the best one-two punch in the NBA. You know that even though you have a, a couple of things where they failed a couple of times, Westbrook is one of the most dominant shooting guards slash point guards in the NBA. And what he does, that 0 to 100 as far as speed with or without the basketball, that fiery personality, that's what I want. I want a person to actually care about the basketball game. I want a person to be so in tune with the basketball game that their everything is in that one game. And then they move to the next game and their everything's in that game. Because he can defend well, because nobody can basically defend Westbrook, he's too fast. you know. And when I look at the tapes of Chris Paul trying to play defense on him, Chris Chris Paul can't even keep up with him. And it's like, okay, how can you be better than somebody you can't even guard? So I look at Westbrook and I look at his full body of work and, and what he's going moving forward, not having any knee issues moving forward and being healthy going into an NBA season. Even though they won't have a full healthy Durant to start the season, I think that Westbrook can carry the Thunder to a pretty good record until Durant comes back and have his buddy back to have his sidekick to help him out. Now, moving on to number three. This is very crucial. We have to look at New York Knicks forward Carmelo Anthony with him slimming down with him giving the the game of basketball his full endorsement as far as his dedication to the game for him really saying okay well this is my team I'm going to try to do everything I can to make sure we bring a championship back to New York it may not happen right away but with the great help of Phil Jackson as the president of the team and him having access to Phil Jackson's mind and him giving the same knowledge that he gave to Michael Jordan, the same knowledge he gave to Shaq and Kobe Bryant, the same knowledge that helped him win so many different NBA titles. I think that'll help Carmelo's game out tremendously. You think that Derek Fisher is not going to use a triangle? You're silly. I think Carmelo Anthony is going to be put in a great situation. I think that you may see this be Carmelo Anthony's best offensive season as an NBA professional. That says a lot. It's saying that uh, Melo in the past has scored so much, I think Carmelo is the best offensive weapon in the NBA. You look at him and Durant being some of the best scorers in the NBA, there's not a single player in the NBA who can stop Carmelo from scoring, not even LeBron James. So I'm looking at Carmelo Anthony for his skill set and what he can do for the New York Knicks moving forward. And I look at Carmelo's skill set right now and say, who who is a better three slash four shooter in the NBA? You don't have one because Carmelo is a streaky shooter. He can get fired uh, at any point in time in his range. He can do the inside range. He can do the outside range. Yeah, his defense is a little suspect. But when it comes down to it, with the last seconds on the clock, I trust Melo with the ball. 
I don't trust all these other guys. So just looking at some of the things that Carmelo does from the offensive side of the ball, that outweighs his defensive deficiencies, and that's why he's number three on the list. Now, number two, even though he's injured, and he'll be back in a couple of weeks, but Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is leader of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, just a, a MVP, and, and, and he's come up short so many different times, and a lot of times it hasn't been his fault. You look at his average and what he's done in the NBA Finals and the loss. You look at what he's done in the playoffs. You look at what he's done without Westbrook, with Westbrook, with Harden, without James Harden. It's just so many things, and he's due to basically break out. Literally, he broke his foot, but he's due to break out and really have a great NBA season. And if he can come back healthy and that foot not bother him, I'm looking forward to Durant taking that next step to get closer to LeBron as far as his game, getting closer to LeBron as far as actual talent, get closer to LeBron in actual distance, because right now it is a little distance. Um, and just doing so many different things that Durant does well, the long, lengthy uh frame he has he's gotten a weight room gained a little weight this off season got a little muscle on that little frame so you think that he picked up a couple of Dirk Nowitzki moves they trained a little bit in the off season so I'm going to be excited to see when he does get back on the basketball court what he can do um but looking right now you got to look at number one LeBron James with the Cleveland Cavaliers going back home for one of the best storybooks of of the NBA's ever seen him teaming up with newly traded Former Timberwolf Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving and, and having Tristan Thompson and Deion Waiters and Anders Averjao. He's going to have a chance to take a step back and really see what this Cavs team can do and what they're made of. Because they're no slouches. They're no chumps. And you look at the veteran leadership of having Sean Marion back and, 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 and having him in that court with Kevin Love sometimes and, and even Sean Marion being able to sub in for LeBron and play LeBron's position that's a big deal they want to rest LeBron going throughout the year so he can be fresh for the playoffs and you know that it's going to be a three-team race in the east it's not going to be that hard you have to beat out the New York Knicks you have to beat out the Chicago Bulls and you also have to beat out the Miami Heat so if you're the Cleveland Cavaliers, you have three teams to beat before you get to the NBA Finals. Possibly uh, you don't have to face all those guys, but those are the teams that you basically have to go through if you want to go to the NBA Finals. And I think that they could beat all three of those teams that I named. The Indiana Pacers are not that good without Paul George, I presume. So it's just going to be crazy. And, and I just look at it. The Chicago Bulls are a piece away from really being that championship contender. Um, because I just don't trust having a rookie as your best scorer um, with Doug McDermott. And I, I, I love Joe Kim Noah, but I don't think he has enough on the offensive skill set. I know he's a, a enters and very job with a little bit of offense. So just a high volume player as far as his motor. But when you're looking at LeBron, LeBron separates his team because of who he is, how he plays the game of basketball, his regimen as far as working. He lost a lot of weight to really get into that that quicker game. And he won't be that big Brahma Bull that he used to be. He's still big, but he's going to be able to keep up with these young guys. He's going to be able to keep up and play even longer and not cramp up and do those things. So I'm looking forward to a great NBA season. This is my top five list for the NBA 2014-2015. I want to know your top five. Leave your comments in the comment section below. All your rebuttals. Don't forget to share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you and your sports group each and every day. Thank you so very much. Looking forward to a great NBA season. Check you out later.